screen test right this way. Oh, wait, what? What's going on? I don't. I need. What, do, what am screen I doing? Screen test. Here's your mark. Go ahead, okay. and here's the script for you. Just look that S over. A script? That's right, screen test. You're going to do fine. You look great. You look great. And scene one, take one. Cervical cancer is preventable with regular screening. At age 21, women can be screened with a pap test. Starting at age 30, women can also get an HPV test as part of screening. Oh, I get it, screen test. The HPV test is part of cervical cancer screening. But wait, what is an HPV test? Cut. And scene one, take two. The HPV test can find the high-risk types of HPV, human papillomavirus, that are most commonly found in cervical cancer. HPV is very common, and knowing if a woman has these types of HPV gives healthcare providers more insight into her risk for developing cervical cancer. But why only after age 30? Cut. Scene one, take three. HPV is very common in younger women, but in most cases, it clears from the body on its own. In women 30 and older though, a high risk HPV infection is less likely to go away on its own. Cut. Wait, can we go again? I, I think I got this. All right. Scene one, take four. So if you're a woman like me, age 30 years or older, you should be screened for cervical cancer with a pap test and an HPV test. The two tests together can better detect any issues than pap tests alone. Your healthcare provider may decide to screen you with just an HPV test alone. Then they'll know if you have a high risk HPV infection and can follow up with the right test and treatment. But screening is the beginning, not the end. Your provider will let you know what the next step is for you. Good follow-up is essential, so call your provider and set up your screen test today. How was that? Most excellent. That's a wrap. All right. To learn more about the HPV test and cervical cancer prevention, visit ashasexualhealth.org.